Well, we're over at the rosary table. Uh, as you can see, these little tea nuts fit in there quite nicely. So, I've been meaning to make those for a number of years. I've had this for quite a while. Uh, so, now we can hopefully do a lot more jobs. They are M8 threaded and should do a good job of holding down quite large work pieces. Now, if I get the plate that we're wanting to use for our motor plate, got four holes in there that are about five inches apart, uh, and once they're drilled through uh, with clearance holes, they'll have no other function after that. Uh, it's just to hold it down on my rotary table. And then what we can do is um, we take a, a collet like this with uh, a, a little end mill. This is probably going to be uh, three millimeter in there, but it's likely that I'll probably use something like a four or maybe even a six. I don't think I've got any fives or anything like that. Um, I just got a cheap set with all even numbers in. So it's going to be either a four or a six that goes in there. It's very likely that it's looking at the size of the spigot of the motor down there. It's probably going to be six. Now all we have to do then is mill a little channel out in there. But of course this doesn't move. This is going to be inside the uh, milling head. And what actually does rotate is the table uh, with the plate attached to it. Now there's one difficult job that we have to do. We have to get this table perfectly centered with this plate and that's quite difficult because with, there's no hole through the center of here yet and um, really it would be nice Despite having this nice two morse taper uh, inset there, which will allow you to use things like this, and you can put a, a Myford chuck on the top of there, I'm not sure whether you can see the top of this thread, but that's the same thing as you get out of a Myford nose spindle, and you can put any old chuck on there, and I've done that quite a few times to great effect. If I can get this thing out now, such as the efficiency of the morse taper. So, once we get this plate centred somehow on here, uh, on the rotary table, um, we can then move the milling cutter into position. As long as we have the milling cutter on the line, or just inside that line, or should I say just outside it, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it will be in the right position to make a a channel all the way around. It doesn't quite matter where the rotary table and the plate are in relation to the milling cutter that's coming down. As long as the milling cutter is in the correct place once, all this will have to do is then rotate. What is absolutely vital is that um, this plate is central to the uh, table that it's mounted on. And I haven't thought of a solution yet, but I'm sure when I do, and I'm sure I will, it'll either be wonderfully complex and quite silly, or it'll be nice and simple. And I'll probably end up kicking myself as to why I didn't think of it before. Um, but I'm wondering whether it might have something to do with at least drilling a hole through there. Um, We'll have to see, but <laughs> it would be nice if I could think of a quick solution. But I don't want to be here all day doing it because uh, I want to get on with making the plate and making it useful for holding the motor, not messing about um, thinking of complex ways to do just one job. But we'll get there eventually. Well, I thought of a couple of ideas. Um, the first one would be to use this adapter that goes from a Morse Taper 2 
to a Myford nose spindle. Uh, we have two smooth edges here, uh, which if we were to place a dial test indicator or a last word indicator in the milling machine uh, chuck, um, then we could try and get this centered uh, on the table by adjusting the table feed, you know, the Y and the X, and then rotating the milling head in, and with the dial test indicator uh, connected around this one of these edges until we got zero deflection and then we know that we're perfectly in alignment with the center of the rotary table the other slightly quicker way of doing it and maybe not quite so accurate and it's more by eye is just to put uh, a center finder in the uh, drill chuck for the milling machine head and use this little uh, center drilled mark that was put in here when this was no doubt made and this will give us a fairly good visual indication as to when it's centered now either way uh, should do quite well uh, I can imagine that this way is slightly less faffy uh, and will probably give quite good results now without this there we can now rely on the table for being mm, very close to concentric with the milling machine head and when we put the plate on we will have four holes drilled in here which will go through into our freshly made tea nuts which I'll have to make a few more videos of later on as to how I made them um, and we can just finger tighten those and knowing that the rotary table and the milling machine head are centered we can use the same uh, technique to center the table or center the uh, plate by just using that little center mark that I put there a while ago and once we move that around we should find that we can get centered on that and once we are we'll tighten these uh, nuts up a little bit more and that should get us quite close and then obviously what we'll have to do then is just wind the X or the Y table out to uh, half of this 180mm diameter plus the radius of the milling cutter that I choose to use so it'll be something like maybe 93mm now I've got the um, the digital readout so that's quite an easy thing to do and once we go to about 93 millimeters out we should be able to make a mark or a channel in that uh, line so yeah it should be okay we'll have to give it a go well I've got the uh, little adapter mounted into the rotary table and it's slightly out of picture at the moment with the rotary table is now secured to the milling machine table uh, the next job to do will be to turn on the machine and just try and center that as best as possible uh, should take 30 seconds a minute right our little machine on right.
getting close. Don't try this elsewhere. Not much. Leave it at that. Yeah, the squeaking is when uh, you drive it a bit too low into the hole. There's a bit of a step there still. It's too far that side. Oh, if you're smooth there now, still smooth there. This step there though, which means, it'll, yeah, it's one of the back two. Bang on there. Just whack it out of centre again. See where it goes. I think we can safely say that that's really quite centred now. So that's it, that's that bit done. So now we can say that the rotary table is exactly concentric with the mill machine head. That's one um, task done. Now what we'll have to do is take this out, see if we can get it out. Just and the next thing to do, we to take this out. Ooh, 
we can get it out. Put a little bit of pressure on crumbs around there. So that'll take me <laughs> another tool to get out, I think. So yeah, we'll get in there. Um, now we'll be to, uh, to put the plate on there and try and get that uh, centred in the same way. I'll have to go and find some bolts first. Not being too successful finding some short ones.